I knew that. I was just testing you guys. Make sure you guys are paying attention. There he is. Hi, guys. Did I interrupt? I have to say something here doesn't really add up. I've tried contacting the hospital, but so far there has been no answer whatsoever. I have these papers saying the boy is staying there until March. And then I have these other papers that you gave me that say quite the opposite. The signatures are totally different, and I can't get any confirmation from the hospital. It's like the whole building has disappeared. So, when exactly did you leave the hospital? I don't quite understand how it took you two days to come here with the boy. Well, I took a small detour to go and see his father's grave. He really hadn't had a chance to see it yet. And where was that again? Ludlow? No, in Arlington. He was qualified for a burial in the National Cemetery there. Oh, right. Did you hear what happened in Ludlow? In Ludlow? No, oh, why would I? They had a major crisis. Bunch of fires and a swarm of locusts. They had to call in the National Guard, and I heard there was a situation of some kind. What do you mean? I'm not sure what happened exactly, but they are suspecting that it was a terrorist attack of some sort. They found poison in the water supply and a bunch of other evidence that points towards something like that. Jesus. They ended up evacuating the whole town, and the word is that one of the buses used for the evacuation is missing. So it could be that the terrorist managed to escape with that and have hostages somewhere. Well, do they have any idea where? Nah, they are still looking for the bus. It's possible that it even came this way. If they don't find it soon, I'm sure they will extend the search here. Be ready to participate soon. Well, we really don't have the manpower to conduct any searches, Lieutenant. I'm sure some of the town folk would gladly help. I'm going to ask the mayor to help us out with it. The mayor? You really think he can get anything done? Yeah, I'm sure he can get us some reinforcements here. I already called the courthouse, but it seems he's scheduled for a camping trip. Once he gets back, I'll ask him. Hello, son. Hello there, Lucius. Okay, I think we're done here. How are you doing with the other case? Which one? The girl. Oh, yeah. There was a girl at the motel, but she didn't quite fit the description. I'm going to check that again just to make sure, after I'm done with some of this paperwork here. Okay, Jack. You do that. Hmm. We ain't got much time here. Sooner or later, he's gonna find out what happened. And then we need to be ready with the scroll and stuff. Give him the note. What's this? Boop. Looks like a Latin sentence of some sort. It's too bad we don't have any books that could help us translate this. We should check out if the school has any. The school? I remember your old house having quite a library there. Yeah, it's too bad it burnt down. All right, should we go to the school or should we go to our house? Hmm. All right, so how do we get out of here? Evidence room. Oh, still can't get in there. Doggone it. Okay. I'm betting we already know all the, the Latin words. School, school, school. Um. Whee! Anybody remember where the school is? Ooh, I'm, I'm glitching a bit. Ka -ka, ka -ka. All right, remember we gotta land outside the fence so that we can get another part. Here's a fun game. Oh, hello, Mrs. School Mama. Oh, hi there. Is there something I can help you with? Yes. What do we have here? Hmm, that's a sentence on a different language. Maybe Latin? You know what it says? 
Well, it came to you. Oh, I see. You probably wanted to translate it for you. Well, honey, I'm sorry, but this school really doesn't have anything that advanced to help us translate it. Your old house used to have a marvelous library filled with books like these. Too bad it burned down. Well, if I remember my Latin lessons correctly, the N means something like, Who are his? Qui sunt yes? Yes, something like that, I think. Sorry, honey, I can't help you more. Have you checked the church? There could be some Latin books there. I need to invert the mouse. Oh. There we go. I need to kick it in the overdrive. Alright, do you remember where the bird is out here? We've only been here once. Uh, lots of birds. <laughs> Doubled up that time. Alright, we gotta see if we can find the library. It's a cool little adventure game. I like it. It's one of those adventure games that's not limited to playing just one play style. And you can uh, pretty much explore anywhere you want to go. Hello? Hello? Gather clues as you see fit. What do you want to bet the first time we came here, we already found the Latin phrase? I bet you. I bet you. I love the fact it revisits places and shows scenes from the earlier games. I know, right? That uh, goes to show that the game is aware that not everybody may have played the first few games and kind of needs to have those gaps filled in. I don't see it anymore. Yeah, in fact, uh, I this morning I went out to the uh, the Shiver Games website that developed this, and they did a depixelation version of the first game, uh, basically '80s style. Ooh, scary noises pixelated graphics like the LucasArts anything in there? I think we've already raided this place it's novel that oh here it is got what you got there kid? oh hey Gabriel a Latin dictionary eh? Did you know this book is a bit burnt? Not much you can do with that, lad. You know there is, however, something here that is of actual use. What? what? I'm Kill. gonna tell you a little story. Ooh, and I want you to listen time. very carefully. Once upon a time, there was this bearded man with glasses. He decided to create himself an ant farm. But instead of ants, he had all sorts of things that he made all by himself. He had lions, zebras, bears, and even actual ants. Oh my. And he made them all by himself for his own amusement. Even after all those creations, he didn't feel like they could hold his interest. They just weren't smart enough to be interesting. So one day, he decided that he is going to make this creature that looks almost like him. 
This creature had wings, but no gender. He ended up making hundreds of them, and then he decided to give them personalities. They would all be uniquely interesting individuals. And for a while, he was happy with his creation. Until one of them decided to revolt against him. This guy was called Lucifer. Lucy Boy was so fierce and determined that he managed to gather a great following among his brothers and almost managed to overthrow the guy with glasses. The creation had become so powerful that a weapon had to be made to contain them. He created a small dagger. He used this dagger to cut the wings off all those who took their step against him and cast them down to the abyss. Devastated about the whole incident, he sorta of gave up on us angels and decided to create something new and better. So he created man and he told the remaining angels to protect the man from any danger. I guess he was talking about Lucifer and things along those lines. Be their guardians, he said. Well, it wasn't long before the bearded man met someone and they got married and had a kid. They named this kid Jesus, but I always knew him as Jesse. So for some reason, he thought it would be a good idea to send this kid to Earth to spend some time with these creations he had. Long story short, Lucifer found out about this and used the very same dagger he was hurt with to kill the kid or something along those lines. I can't remember if he actually gave the dagger to someone else so they could use it or managed to talk one of the followers to double cross him somehow. I really don't remember. It's been like 2000 years. Anyway. This dagger then fell into the hands of the humans and has been circulating somewhere over here ever since. After that, the bearded man has been pretty heartbroken and really hasn't been able to forgive the humans. There were dark ages and crusades and all sorts of horrible stuff. That's when he came up with this whole plan about the rapture. We the Council of Angels don't really agree with him. I think the human race deserves one more chance, and I'm sure we could convince him once he calms down and stops blaming them for his son's death. The thing is that Lucifer is also very excited about this and is doing everything in his power to fuel the anger, making all this possible. I think he has managed to manipulate the whole situation so that he can get his vengeance. So first, we would need to stop him. But there's only one thing that can hurt him in this world. A very special weapon. A dagger? I think you might know this weapon, and I think you might know where it is. This weapon is the only thing that can destroy Lucifer. Mm -hmm. Ouch! I'll take it that you are not ready to process all of this yet. No touchy. Just like your father. Always so hot-tempered. Well, we shall see if we can still change your mind. Maybe that detective of yours could help me persuade you. Hmm. Oh, I love a good fairy tale. All right. All right, I guess we got to keep... All right, there should be a bobblehead over here somewhere. Wasn't there a bobblehead? Oh, God. During the story, a bobblehead poked its head up. These are all the little pages. Oh, look, it's a little baby with horns. There's a dagger... Well, I guess we can go ahead and make like a bird and get the flock out of here. I mean, 
Later. <laughs> okay. I guess it's back to the church. Uh, in the church where we're supposed to uh, Um, all right, I wanted to take the scenic route down by the bio. Bio? Bio? That's, whoop, where'd those trees come from? There's Mama's house. Yes, Mama. Yeah, we'll have to come back to the hotel later. Oops, wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Q. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to the church. I wanted to go to the cliff. I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, yeah this is where we gotta go. Oh, oh, speed up. I keep forgetting that uh, there's a. You can fly faster. Still nothing. That was where we put the uh, remember we, the, the the lookout point right there. There's a barbed wire going across the road. Okay. Anyway, we'll come back to oh, there's the church. We gotta go there anyway. Kick it in the high gear. I'm afraid to go out. Jiminy Christmas shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going down to the church. It was in the cellar, right? Oh, wait a minute. Remember, we gotta land outside so that we can find. Out. Yeah, we need another bird. Dog butt is dog shit. Down into the cellar, and it should be over here, right? Papers with Latin killed them all. It's like in the Game of Thrones. Alright, so whose house do we gotta go to now? Or do we gotta go in here? in there. Yeah. Alright, back to Judge Jack, Judge, uh, Judge Judy. Whoa. We got away from the church and the uh, thunder and lightning stopped. Thundering and lightning. Lightning? Is that a is that a thing? Ooh, what those? And blank. <laughs> it never gets old. Lol. Alright. Was the uh, the book in? Or the